good morning. All right, so it's real early on my side, and uh, I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. But uh, first time tuning in, welcome, Landell's Pod. Uh, I'm Landell. <laughs> I'm DJ Code Red. You know, that's my. You know, I got a couple aliases and, and thug names and all of that jazz. Um, today. Oh, kind of, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of for the ladies. You, you, you know what I mean? Uh, so I got, I got a question for the ladies that I, that I want to ask. I've been doing a lot of. I think people have seasons sometimes on what they enter. I mean, what they might take interest in, what they might be looking into, and what they might be getting into. You know what I'm saying? Like. I think you got time frames and all of that on, you know, okay, I'm learning about this lately. I've been interested in this, so I've been passionate and looking into this, so forth and so on. Whether some of those things be health, uh, finances, you know, or, you know, I don't know, just life experiences, and relationships, uh, you know, scenarios and things of that nature, whatever. So, you know, here lately... You know, I've been, I guess I've been kind of uh, getting or we can say looking into the female perspective of things. And before I kind of like really just, I guess, go in or, you know, begin to talk about this topic, this subject or whatever, Um, I just want to. I guess I just kind of want to, I don't know if you would call this a disclaimer (laughs) or whatever, but, uh, you know, it's just like, I've done, I think as a, as a man, as who I am, I've, this is like my experiences, you know what I'm saying? And of course my opinions, my thoughts, my views and my perception on, the situation or reality or whatever about you know that's what a lot of this is but uh you know like I say I've I've as a as a as a young male out here you know uh I think I've done my due diligence or I'm I'm very self-aware and I've done my you know you know you got like like I say you got to you got to do work within yourself first, first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to be in, in, you got to be able to evaluate yourself, do self-evaluation and, you know, be, you know, you've been done work on yourself a lot of the time before you can even, you know what I'm saying? Uh, come at somebody else about them. And I'm pretty sure, you know, like like I say, no, that not that ain't me saying, oh, I'm perfect, and I got everything figured out. But uh, you know, most definitely, I just kind of want to, I guess, just share that, you know, what I'm saying, because I don't think, in no means, that I'm perfect uh, to nobody's standards. Not even really attempting to be perfect, really, but. You know, most definitely attempting, you know, continuous improvement, better versions of myself, things of that nature. I'm, I, I got an audio book that I just recently purchased. Uh, the title of the book is, I don't know, Something Imperfectionist. I don't know, Something Imperfectionist. It's like, I probably, it ain't all that. I probably do something later on about that. But it just basically talk about how, you know, having a perfectionist mindset and, you know, reaching perfection and stuff like that and things of that nature. It's like, you know, you're never going to reach perfection. Nobody's perfect. All that. But like, like how, I guess in a way it affects the way people move, act and, you know, things of that nature. Like because you want to be perfect, a lot of stuff you probably don't never do. You don't never jump out and take take the risk on certain things, or uh, because you want to be perfect, 
you know, you wait because, you know what I'm saying, you want everything to be just, just right. You know, it got to be the perfect time, the perfect day, the perfect scenario, you know what I'm saying, everything got to be right, the perfect equipment, uh, you know, all of this jazz. So, it just talk about kind of having an imperfectionist type attitude where, at least you done like you know what I'm saying like if you working out, oh man like well damn I ain't gonna be able to work out today da 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 because I can't get to the gym so I can't work out today. Well shit you can work out in the comfort of your own home. You can you know do a couple push ups, you know plank or you know what I'm saying sit ups and all of that jazz. So uh, that's kind of what that book talk about. I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I, I think it's beneficial because it's like, you know, instead of, you know, like I say, we're thinking we need to do something perfect or be perfect in doing something, um, you know, and they create these unrealistic standards and all that kind of jazz, you know, opposed to just you made improvement today or you did good today or, you know what I'm saying, you said you was going to work out and, hell, you did 10 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, you know, just like you got, he talk about, you know, being kind of in love with the process of just, you know, even getting started and then doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So another, you know, thing that's kind of been on my mind here lately um, is like taking action, like when, when it's time to take action. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, if you have an idea and you can act up on that idea right then and right there, or, you know, how you have an idea throughout the course of the day and it come to you and then, like, some later on in the day, you lie, you're liable to forget about it. You know what I mean? So, it talks, you know, it talk, talks about, like, you know, when you have those ideas, when you have those thoughts shoot across your head or whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you can, try to take action on that then and now. And, you know, like I say, it's some 6.16 in the morning over here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I usually don't do a, do, do a podcast or get on my podcast until, like, sometime during the day. I'll wait till, like, some 12, 12, 1 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Really and truly when I feel like I got to bust the energy, energy when I can yell and scream in the, in the phone and all the microphone and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, this is this is different, and this is, like, me, I guess, doing that, you know, in a way, like, I'm, like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go with it, I'm just gonna go with it right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do it right now, you know, knock it out of the park, you know, um, so, but like I say, getting back to kind of what I wanna talk, talk to y'all about today, um, is, uh, like I say, I've been, and I apologize because I ain't got no damn names on this. <laughs> but, like, because I'm about to butcher their name. Uh, I know one of their names is Sarah Lena, I think. You can, like, YouTube her. Um, and this is, like, this is, like, men going to love this shit. I think men going to love this shit. Um, and this is a two-way street, just like most things. Uh, I think men going to love this shit. And, like, as far as women go, women, it depends on how you take truth how you deal with truth you know what I mean if you somebody who you know what I'm saying you ain't really never been all that good at taking truth if you a person who ain't really never self-evaluated yourself and things of this nature you know what I'm saying you don't want to take responsibility for it this is this all boils down to taking responsibility for your actions and some of the things that you do uh as a as a person you know what I'm saying as as a, as a human and, and and what you do, you know what I'm saying? Like and this time I think we I just kind of been dealing with the woman because for me as a man out here being single, as a single man out here, you know what I'm saying? Um and I'm a person who will admit to my flaws and will take full responsibility for if I fucked up or if I messed up, if I, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's one thing that people can say about me for sure, for sure. Like, I will take responsibility, and I've been like that for a while now. So, you know, 
I think I can. I think that would kind of kind of qualifies me in a way to speak about this because that's what it that's what it calls for. That's that's what it kind of requests for. I guess in a way, like you gotta you a person of you know you gotta take accountability and responsibility for the actions, the situations that you might land yourself in. So if you're a person who who does that and you can rock with that, cool. This might be of some benefit to you. But if you're one of them people who, you know, like you find it hard to be honest and you always pointing the finger outward and you ain't never really just evaluating yourself, you gon' you might not take this so well. You know what I mean? So um like I say, without any further ado, um, like I said, I don't want to hold y'all too long. Um, but uh, with that being said, like I say, it's two women. I think it's Sarah Lena, and I'm about to butcher her name, and I, I'm so like upset about it. But her name is uh, Shara Harazad Ali Muhammad. <laughs> Something like that. But his sister, you know, Shaharazad Ali Muhammad or something like that. You know what I mean? And so I was watching an interview on her yesterday. And like she wrote, I got the book in my house to be honest, but I'm just that damn lazy that I, I'm not trying to, because I lose my train of thought at anything I do. So if I go get the, I get sidetracked so fast. So it's like, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna go up in there and get the book and look for the book and all of this jazz and then like what was I talking about? But anyway, um, what these sisters do, you know, on YouTube, like you Lena is one of them, uh, and then the other one, Shahrazad Ali Muhammad or something like that. You know, that's her name. So these are two women, and what they do, what these two women talk about, they basically, you know how. It's interesting points that have kind of been brought to my attention lately as far as the women, as far as women, you know, just me being a single man and dealing with women, things that I see, experiences that I've had, things of that nature, Uh, like, you know, and, and for women, it's like they, you know, and I ain't getting on here really, man, look. I ain't, it ain't about the bashing. This is like, like I say, this is for motherfuckers who feel like they need the help or like they need, they needed to hear this message on some shit. You get me? Like, it ain't got nothing to do with bashing. Like, motherfuckers will get on here, oh, bashing women. I don't give a damn about that because if I, like, the men, yeah, I can talk about the men. That's another topic and I I will do that. I'm pretty sure in a, in a, in a later, at a later time. But right now, what we on, we on women. And, you know, everybody got a part. Everybody plays a role in, you know, society, like, you know what I'm saying, why, why your life the way it is, uh, your part, everybody got a part in this shit, basically, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it ain't just like, man and woman, it ain't just like man and woman, and men did everything to get women to where they are, act how they act, and, you know what I'm saying, do what make them do what they do like you know like yeah men got a a, a role in that but like like basically what these women talk about they basically talk about and address the ways that women are fucking up and like uh how as women they can improve you get what i'm saying and so that's what they talk about. They do a lot of like bringing light, shedding light on women and that some of the things that they do that's that's not beneficial, that's not, uh, you know, healthy or that can be healthy, that can be beneficial, things of that nature. You know what I mean? So they so, and they be getting on women ass. And I like that shit because it's like as a man who who's worked on myself, like I'm a man out here, but I feel like I've worked on myself. So I take, like I say, like, I didn't deal with women. I didn't deal with women to where, you know, I didn't deal with women to where it's like, I'm, I might be in a situation where I know how to express myself. 
I know how to express my feelings, my emotions, and all of this kind of shit. Like, so if I, I didn't been in a situation where I can come to a lady or a woman and and I might want to express, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling her basically some shit that's not going to be beneficial for us long term. If this woman want to be with me. Let's just say this woman want to be with me. And I get to expressing myself or whatever. And that shit is deemed or looked at as like, oh, you a crybaby. Or you like, you know what I'm saying? You soft. I'm like, I'm really not soft, but it's just like, it's like, like, bitch, I can cuss you out. I can call you a hoe, a slut, bitch, yell, scream, kick, and shit, choke you out and slap you if I really wanted to. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that that way of communication it, it, it's just flawed. You know what I'm saying? All it's going to do is make you get loud with me in return or make you resent me or just be, you know, it don't breed uh, right thinking or or affirmative action. Ooh, that was nice. But uh, <laughs> it don't it don't breed what I'm, the results that I'm trying to get. You get me? But it's like I'll end up dealing with a chick who on that level of like, you know, that's the way she kind of carries herself or acts or that's what she, I don't know. Like the truth of the matter is I don't even know if the woman that in them, those scenarios, they know what they expecting from me. You know, they just go out on the ledge and just, they already just chalk it up. It's like, Oh, this nigga soft. This nigga is like, you know, they don't think they're like, you know, it's kind of like the convict. It's kind of like the, the thug ass, convict dude or whatever who changed his life and you know he used to be in the streets and now he ain't in the streets no more it's like I can do that you feel me I can go there with you sis I can go there with you and you know what I'm saying cuss and get loud and yell and say bitch and then like you know I'm trying to get a point across but then I, I get to screaming and cussing and when I call you a bitch you hear that you don't hear nothing else but you like Oh, I'm a bitch, though. Oh, but you call me a bitch, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a bitch, but that other bitch. Oh, da 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 But it's like, we are as fellas, and I think it's women, y'all know this shit, too, as dudes, for sure. Like, we all have been in a situation where it's like, we trying to talk to a motherfucker, and we talking, 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 and we talking, and we talking, but ain't we ain't nothing getting across. And then when we say, bitch, just listen, (laughs) just listen. That's when she lose. That's when she flip this. That's when she lose her top. She lose her top. Oh, we calling a we calling people a bitch. We calling it a bitch now. Just go ahead and say what you mean. Say what you feel. Okay, I'll be that too then, nigga. With yo, and then we get to name calling, and now at the end of the day, it's like we didn't did a whole lot of unnecessary shit within the relationship within this uh, conversation. Which, which was supposed to be a, come on, a conversation, a line of communication, you know, to where we can effectively communicate between each other and get something done. But now we didn't got into the, all this extra screaming and yelling and chomping each other out kind of shit. So. So like I said, you know, I mean, we already know like that, that way of doing things, you know, it's flawed. It's not, you know, a lot of times it don't get us what we want. You know what I mean? (laughs) Uh, And like I say, that shit can be deemed as soft from a dude's perspective. But, you know, to me, I just, I don't, I don't deem it as soft at all. I just deem it as like somebody who's you know, wise and, you know, trying to approach a situation in, like, the best, one of the better ways possible, you know what I mean? So, uh, I think that shit deserves a, like, you know, a certain level of respect and, 
you know, but anyway, um, y'all get what I'm saying when I say that, uh, so I want to just, like I said, I was thinking, you know, back to Sarah Lena and, uh, Shahariza Ali Muhammad, like these two ladies, like I say, they, they say a lot of things, like I, I, you know, um, like Shahariza Ali Muhammad, she wrote a book, and I hope I'm saying that name right, because I might be mixing the Muhammad and the Ali, but anyway, she wrote a book, um, called The Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman, and, like, okay, I know I probably got some Spanish listeners, or it might be listeners of, of, you know, uh, another race and nationality or whatever, and that's perfectly fine, but this, this book, and I know how that sounds, but, like, this book, like, don't get it twisted just because it's, like, black, you know what I'm saying, the black man's guide to understanding the black woman, like, bro, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a, it ain't, it ain't just, like, subjugated, I guess, in a way to, like, just blacks, whites, I mean, just black folk, you know what I mean, like, I, it's, I think it's most definitely for, like, anybody can use this knowledge truth is like truth ain't got no race truth ain't got no color you know what i'm saying so this is this is like deemed or geared at a type of person like, you know what i'm saying uh a type of person who you know displays these attributes uh, you know and and things of that nature so um like i say and, and that's you know, when I first heard this, this title or whatever, and I got that book and stuff like that, I got that book, like, some years ago. I probably got that book in, like, 2017. And no, I haven't read it all. But, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just, like, here lately, I kind of been... I think the universe can kind of directing me back to, I guess, this topic or whatever. You know what I mean? And it, and it it's, it's good for me. I love it, me, because I... I, I just be like, yeah, get on they fucking ass because I feel like women are entitled. I really do. I feel like women are fucking entitled, bro. I feel like they, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and I've always was like, damn, where the women at that that's saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe they'll take it from a woman because they don't take the shit from us when a nigga, when a nigga point his finger and be like, women, y'all doing this and women, y'all doing that. You feel me? Like, that shit do not go well, like, but she, but y'all, that's your, that's your, that's your flaw, right there, shut up, sis, that's your shit, right there, when, when I say, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and, I don't know which, I think I might have been listening, I think I was listening to Sarah Lena, Lena one day on YouTube, and you can, you can YouTube these people, you can Google them and look at, some of the topics that they talking about and what they talking about. I think I listened to Sarah Lena and she was saying like, you know, she was talking about how women are in the world today. Like they most definitely like, it's a sense of entitlement and it's just like for so long, they haven't been, men been under the microscope of like, you know what I'm saying? Men been under the microscope of like what we do wrong, how we fucking up, we dogs, we cheat, we do this, we blah, 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 blah. We need to fix this and all of this and that. Okay. But like, like, like women just, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. Or, you know, they do know they flawless, you know, in this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so it was like, so now it's like, it's, she basically like just shedding light on like, okay, women, y'all got to roll in this shit too. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't, you know, she, she delivers, I like the way she delivers her message. She delivers her message out of love and shit like that. And she like, you know, she, you know, she ain't just, you know, she just, I ain't bashing you because, you know, she was there too. She was once this type of woman or was like this or whatever. Like it's all a continuous I think that's for everybody, you know, it's a given for everybody, you know what I'm saying, I, ain't nobody really just coming out and saying they perfect, that they ain't ever been any, like, I think a lot of the times, a person who's been there can tell you the best, you know what I'm saying, and so, that it's respect, it's respect for that kind of shit, a person who, because they had to do a self-evaluate, they had to uh, self-evaluate, you know what I mean, so, 
Um, amen. Amen. <laughs> anyway, but uh, like I say, um, so I love it me because they be getting on y'all ass. They be getting on females ass. They be like, bro, like how a nigga gone like, you know, and, and, and one thing I'll just kind of stick to what kind of made me, you know, kind of want to talk about this, I guess this morning. And, uh, it was, you know, I, I see a lot of stuff, you know, just be, being on the internet and all this and that, you know, be his pieces and, uh, you know, uh, you want to be his pieces or, uh, you, you know, all of that kind of shit. So my, basically my question was to my, myself earlier this morning, I was like, um, I'd love to have a female guest or a female chime in on this. Most definitely anybody chime in on this, but females for damn sure. In what ways, it just made me think like, in what ways are you his piece? And like I say, I asked that, like, do you know how to be his piece? Uh, what's some of the things you do to create peace for that man? You know what I'm saying? For your man or whatever, as a woman, I wanted to ask that. Uh, like legit legit question you know so um and with that being said on top of that you know because because that's thrown around a lot you know like it's a lot of things that get thrown a lot thrown thrown around you know out there you know all kind of things you know but you know that was a legit you know, thought and question for me, you know, how, as a woman, how are you this man's peace, you know, and what are some, what are some of the ways that you are his peace, uh, you know, and, um, what else was it? It was, because I, it, it, I, and it made me think, it made me think because, you know, I'm single, I, I date or, I screw around or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know what I mean? From time to time. And uh, it just made me think it's some it's some women that. And I would like see what I would do is like and this is me learning about myself. Uh, you know what I would do is at that time. I think I would just chalk it up as that's peace. You know what I mean? It's peace because I can get along with this person or whatever. But I think one of the one of the better forms or one of the ultimate forms of peace I guess in a way I would say um is when I'm able to be around uh a woman we'll say and uh like my ideas are able to flow like I'll just start there I won't go any deeper than that but it's just like when Cause it's times I can be around a woman, you know what I mean? Like a woman might want to hang out. Uh, they might want to kick it vibe, catch a vibe or whatever, you know? And I've, I've been in situations where, okay, we hang out, we lay down, we might, you know, sleep for the majority of the night or whatever. And like, just, it's been times where I'm like, I cannot sleep. I can't sleep like in peace with this with this woman or I can't like you know it's 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 more of a if we hang out I just got to be on some smashing pads. I just got to be on some smash and like okay you leave 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 get up get up get up get up get out get out get out you know what I'm saying get out <laughs> So it, 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 it and it's just like you know, my thoughts, it's, it, it's, a, I think a lot. So it, I think it's like that, that with, with that woman, she, to, for me, she's not bringing a peace to my mind. You know what I mean? And that's something to think about that, that kind of, it, it, it just, you know, Sarah, Sarah Lena and, uh, you know, you know, Shahrazad, 
sister Shahrazad Ali Muhammad or whatever. You know, they just talk about how the women have a y'all got a power that y'all it's like y'all use y'all power like in the wrong way. Like as a woman, you got the power. Like, and I heard this in the in one of the audio books I listened to. It was like, and it, basically what it was saying as a woman, you have the power to when your man wake up in the morning get ready to go to work you got the power to send this nigga off to work happy you know what i'm saying throughout the course of the day you got the power to he might have got some bad news or he might have seen something disturbing heard something disturbing uh you know had a disturb uh, had a disturbing little experience or some shit like that you know what i mean and let's say you know you come through with that text 20 minutes later 30 minutes later, an hour later, not because you knew exactly what happened because he probably didn't even tell you or mention, he ain't running to you to just tell you, but just because you checking on him throughout the course of the day, you feel me? And you shot him a text like, babe, I just want you to know that, you know, I appreciate you, I love you, I care about you, and, uh, you know, you got this. You know what I'm saying? You got this. You on top of your game or like, you know what I'm saying? I love being uh, your wife. Or I love being your, you know, your girlfriend, your number one or uh, uh, whatever. You, you, you a great man or, you know what I'm saying? Some encouraging shit. You feel me? But let that be some other shit. You know, a man can be in a good mood on some shit and just, you know, hit his woman on some shit. And I'm not saying that this got to be every time. I'm, I'm like, we're human. I'm pretty sure it's hard every time, like, especially dealing with a man that's like, he, he done fucked up. You feel me? I, I'm not ruling out this kind of shit. I'm not ruling out that. You know, I understand a nigga that done fucked up, a man that done fucked up on some shit. I know that shit ain't easy from a woman's perspective to be on some shit like, yo, like, you know, like, man, this nigga here, he want me to be like this and say this. And after you done fucked up, that's hard. That's difficult. I know it is. But if you're going to be there, I feel like this, this, I feel like if you're going to be there, this is, this is something that you need to, this is where you work on yourself. This is where it requires a, a challenge. This is going to be a challenge. This is going to be the challenge. This is going to be where you work on yourself and see if you can elevate as a woman, you know what I'm saying? You ain't have to stay, you feel me? But you did, you made that choice to stay. I feel like, so if you gonna stay, you 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 know what I'm saying? Like, a part of that, that it, 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 it's on you to like be on some like, all right, yeah, I know this nigga fucked up, but still, I gotta try to, you know, rise. I gotta try to up, up, up my game, rise, rise to a level of like, where I can be on some like, Nah, I ain't saying forget this nigga and all that. I ain't saying, like, don't get this shit conscrewed. I'm not saying that his actions should go without uh, whatever kind of repercussions or whatever kind of, you know what I'm saying? Nah, okay, I get it. That come with the territory. Pretty sure, however you deal with that. But what, I, what I'm saying is, you know, you want to try to, you know, this is, that, that, that could be an opportunity, you know, for you to, be resilient, as LeBron James say, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and show that, you know, I even though I know this has happened and this went down between us, I mean, I understand that he he be going through things too or whatever. So when you come down off your, you know, your your little, you know, attitude, whatever, you shake back, you know, you know, I, I'm just saying, I don't think that shit happens. I would say at all, because I don't know no women who really do that shit. I don't think. Like, it's very, it's very few women. It's very few women. Like, me and my homeboy was talking one time, one day. And, uh, um, you know, shout out to him. Uh, shout out to Jika, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go get your hair cut in Shreveport somewhere at Boss Man's Cuts, by the way. Um, he'll be there. Um, uh, so... But like I say, me and him was discussing this one day. And, you know, the discussion kind of went like... The discussion kind of went like... um, 
man, what was it? The discussion, what we were talking about. God damn it. I'm so bad. I legit then lost my train of thought on that. I don't like that at all. We'll come back to it. But, like I say, man. Um, oh, that's what we was talking about. So we was to, there you go, God. Uh, so we were just talking about how how he was dealing with this woman, and she was like, you know, this this around my this around the time he had lost somebody near and dear to him or whatever. But uh, you know, either way, you know, he was talking about how he was dealing with this woman, and she was like very like supportive as far as like through text threads through text messages and and things of that nature like she was you know she would like be on some like he wake up in the morning you know she hit him with the morning text i'm pretty sure she got a job to go to in the morning or something like that so she wake up she's like you know good morning top of the morning whatever and she's like uh you know hope you have a great day you're gonna go you're gonna do great things out in the world today, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have a great day, like, kind of speaking, speaking good shit on him into existence, you feel me, and what that does, oh my god, like, man, look, if you a nigga out here, and you on your entrepreneurial shit, or you a nigga out here and you trying to accomplish something you goal oriented you got goals you got dreams man this is like this is why i always say i just can't accept no any goofy on side of me you feel me as a man because i'm a man with dreams goals and fucking ambitions and shit like that like this shit get hard i'm like you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get shit off I'm trying to own and have things out here. You feel me? And, you know, doing it by yourself. Yeah, sure enough, it can be done. We believe that. If it, Otherwise, I don't think we would be on these kind of journeys, these entrepreneurial-ass journeys. These This go for female and male. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but male, the male side of it, I most definitely feel, you know, because just, just from my experiences, had it. Man, just to hear those kind of words, like to have a woman to speak life into you, so to speak. You feel me? Wake up in the morning, I get a text. Babe, you're going to do great. You're going to do great today. And she know me, so this shit is specific. You feel me? Like I know, like she she didn't took my flaws, like uh, a struggle that I may, I, may, I may have or something like that. You know, uh, fellas, you know, you got me. Uh, it might be something that you battle with something that you know I, it might be hard for me to wake up in the morning sometimes being that i ain't got no nine to five like that like you know what i'm saying i ain't got a nine to five so it might be hard for me to wake up in the morning and just you know be on some old yeah get out of bed you know so she hit me up she hit my line she banging my line because she gotta go to work so she up you feel me she up at eight o'clock she up at 7 30 so she banging my line like get up motivate me because she know i want to do this she know i gotta do this she know i gotta you know what i'm saying you said you want to be better she hold she a, she my accountability buddy you feel me she she holding me accountable you know what i'm saying you said you was gonna get up and da 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 you said you know what i'm saying but not just that she on she on my ass i love i can i can appreciate tough love you feel me i can accept i can accept that kind of shit Cause she know my well being mean her well being. Huh, huh. The betterment of me mean the betterment of her too. Like we a we a one two punch. We a combination. You feel me? So she she on some like she waking up. She she like yo get up fam. You need to get out that bed for real for real in the morning. You know you ain't got to get up, but like if she slip if she if she slip over here or whatever, she done woke me up. Like look you get up here. I done got this started for you at least. Whatever it is, whatever it may be, you know, rather that, you know, rather that's a, a a breakfast meal, a breakfast burrito, whatever the fuck, or rather that's like I didn't pull you, you know, for me it might be something simple as pulling my laptop out of out of out of my backpack, 
I done already pulled your laptop out of your backpack and uh, unlock your screen. Go on ahead. Get on your DJ shit. Get on get on whatever it is that you're supposed to be working on. You know what I'm saying? I done already, I done already pulled that book. Turn it to that page. Get up. Get to, get to read. Get to whatever. Whatever the shit may be. You feel me? But man, I'm talking about, man, when I say this shit, like I say, in Shaha Reza Ali, she was saying this. She was like, oh, uh, a man with a woman behind him that supports and believes in that man speaks life into that man he feel like he can accomplish anything I believe that shit I believe that shit because what I oftentimes what I oftentimes think being that I grew up without a father and things of this nature. I ain't really had my daddy in my life like that. So I ain't really had no no daddy. My parents, they wouldn't really like, you can do anything. You can do anything. You can do, I can do anything. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, like, you know, I didn't grow up. My parents wasn't really like that growing up. My parents, like, my first of all, my daddy and my mama wasn't even in the same house. I had hell to dealing with my stepdaddy, I wasn't even fucking with him back then, I was like, man, when you get old, I'm gonna push you out of a wheelchair or some shit, nigga, like, I'm gonna get your ass, <laughs> I do, I don't feel like that no more, but that's the dark thoughts back in the day, you know what I'm saying, get in trouble and shit, you know, but I was doing goofy shit to get in trouble, so, you know what I'm saying, that's me not wanting to receive my correction, you know what I'm saying, uh, so, like I said, I didn't grow up, uh, like that, where it was, you know, uh, parents were very, very, very supportive, or very supportive, supportive, and, you know, it was like, you know, hey, you're gonna do great things, speaking life into me, I didn't grow up with, with around a community like that, aunties, aunts, uncles, older cousins, and shit, it was just, you know how shit is in the black community, man, you know what this shit is about, I fucking grew up getting ridiculed, and talked about, and spirits, and shit, dream killed and all that kind of shit man you had to deal with that that's what we had to deal with you know what i'm saying so like i say i was just looking a lot of times a lot of times you know here recently in previous years i probably was looking at it from a perspective of like damn you know my daddy if that nigga had been there telling me you know this and that son you strong strong black man or Da, 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 this, that, and the third, you know, just good positive energy, good energy speaking life into, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm most definitely gonna do that with my kids. But um that she put a she put the she put the perspective of like that being a woman or whatever. And uh, you know, that that right there, that was like on some like I was like, man, yeah, man, that's most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. That's good stuff. You know, like, it's just like having a woman to be in your corner like that and she believes in you and she supports you, you know, things of that nature. I'm like, I mean, how many, how many women do that? How many women know you personally, you know, as a man, know you close enough to be able to, you know, kind of chisel off and make that that support and that 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 belief in what she's saying, you know, speaking life into you, like carve it like kind of into a, a direct message for you in your life. You know what I mean? And so, you know, you know, like I say, back to these two, these two, these two women. Um like, like I say, Sarah Lena, she talks about, you know, she talk about that, like, you know, how, you know, men, they didn't been under the radar and the microscope for, for the longest. Okay, we get that. We know what, we know that. And he not, he not exempt. We know that. Okay. But when you, when you put a man under the radar, I feel like, because I've heard the stories. You know, all men are dogs. All men cheat. Uh, they ain't no good. Really and truly, you know, uh, outside of physical 
and verbally abusing women and females, which I don't think that's my problem. That's uh, that's not my problem. You know, I, I'm not no nigga who go around beating up my women, uh, beating up chicks and, you know, verbally abusing them. Even like it's been a lot. Of, it's been plenty of times where women blew me down on some shit because her feelings were hurt or, or whatever. Or, you know, I kept it a book. I was honest about something that I did, you know, and they were hurt and, you know, they wanted to say what they had to say. And it, 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 it you know, it was an, an attempt to hurt me. Uh, you know, make me feel bad, you know, verbally or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you know, I didn't, I had no response. I didn't respond to that. I just was like, I understand how you feel right now. I mean, if that's how you feel. And I let that shit be. I mean, that's me as a, that's, 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 that's where I'm at with on that. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like I say, that ain't just really my, my problem. You know, I think we all have issues and problems. You know, and we know our, I guess, Achilles heel or, you know, we know the shit that we need to work on. We should, you know, so as far as that goes, that wasn't, that's not my thing. Like if somebody gone, because I believe in the golden rule and I just know if I get back at a person, a lot of times a woman to say some, you know, some hurtful shit and I just let her have it. I just let her be her. I just let her be, you know, that's where she at. I just let her be that woman. And she said that, and okay, cool. Like I say, I'm pretty sure I. She feel like I gave her a reason to say what she said, I guess, and or whatever. So, um, you know, with that being said, like I say, but in 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 like I say, I'm a man who over here. I'm a man. You know, I can't speak for nobody else for the most part. Like, but I'm a man who I've worked on myself. To a to a to a to a pretty good degree, I, I, I'd say. Uh, I'd like to think. Uh, and uh, with that being said, you know, the way I describe it is like so. So men have been under the, men have been under so much scrutiny and just like men do this, men do this. It's y'all fault and y'all fuck up on this and y'all just can't do this. Da, 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 da. Outside of cheating. And shit like that, me and dogs, I really just see, like, just men physically and verbally probably abusing a woman. Outside of that, I mean, rather that man provide, okay, that man, he might be lacking some funds financially or something. Like that, that, that go to, I think that get, get down to the individual and just, like, if a woman trying to value all, how much does she value certain things and stuff like that? But uh, it ain't too much that I feel like. But but the women though, I feel like, and like, I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot as far as women go because like y'all have a power. Like women have a power in. Uh, like I said, hey, women have a power in this, and I think y'all use that power like wrong, like <laughs> not at all. Like, like y'all have a unique power in being a woman, being feminine, like uh, being uh, shit. Sometimes knowing when to shit the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and certainly, man, Shahrazad, they they agree with this shit. Like this, this is what they be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, um. They, you know, they talk about, you know, how a man in the house, uh, and, you know, like I say, he can't get into a peace of mind. Nigga got to go outside. I, 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 I done seen it, bro. Nigga got to step outside the room to just, like, collect his thoughts, try to figure out what he going to do because he just, like, he can't be in peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, rather that's his, rather that calls for his, his, uh, his lady to go in a different room and just. I'm gonna be in here for the next couple hours, man. You you get your thoughts together. I know I know you're probably thinking about what happened earlier or what you're gonna do about this or how you gonna figure out this. You know, a lot of times, like I say, a lot of times a man can't plan. A lot of times a man can't plan. Uh, I think, and this is something that I realized in one of my relationships coming out of high school, like, um, like one of my, yeah, so. 
I realized at the end of the day, you know, so this is back 2014 ish or something like that, uh, like around the time when I first had moved out here to, to, to Texas. Um, like I say, a lot of times a man is not able to like plan out. I feel like his future a lot of times sometimes and like, you know, with being with a woman. So that's the beauty of being alone. You can do that shit because you alone. You feel me? So I've had time to think about what I want to do uh, future wise and all this kind of shit like that. I think uh, I think had I been in a toxic relationship and that might be something to look into, like a survey. Like I wonder like how many people like that in you know how you know how you got these people who've been in relationships for forever. They always in a relationship. They always got somebody. They ain't never had no time to just sit and think. And you get what I'm saying? Uh, and 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 just you know beating themselves and evaluate and see what they want to do with their life and all this kind of shit. They just always too busy in a relationship with somebody. Oh yeah, I didn't got with this person now. I didn't got with that person now. Da 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 da. Like, so I think like you know you can't. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say you can't, but, like, if it's really, like, no harmony and no peace, and it's just always, like, this this level of toxic, toxicity or whatever, you know what I'm saying, With, within the relationship, I feel like it, it most definitely, if not all the way, like, hinders your completely, you know, your ability to, you know, which I, I wouldn't say that, but I, 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 I most definitely think it, it slows it down because like your ability to plan and and uh work out uh futuristic you know you know just future plans plan for the future rather that's jobs and you know finance all all that shit i feel like it most definitely slows it down and that's something to think about you know what i mean I think that's that kind of shit is important, you know. Because I said that at a point in time in one of my relationships, I was like, if, if we spent as much time as we argue over petty ass shit, minuscule every day, little, we ain't gonna remember this shit tomorrow. We gonna forget what it was in a couple of hours, kind of shit. If we spent as much time on that, like, uh, like. If we spent that time planning for our future and, like, working together, trying to accomplish a common goal and, like, put both of us at a better place, better position in life, we'd be, come on, man, like, chicks that I've dated, like, well, this particular relationship, that's what I would say. Like, most definitely could have had good things. Most definitely. Most definitely. But it was just, you know, like I say, it wasn't too much harmony between us on, 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 like, minor and minuscule topics. Like, it, and, like, we spend so much time, like, just bickering about, like, just simple shit. Like, I'm like, bro, like, well, what were we even arguing about? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and I think, you know, we got to get away from that. Like, and women I think are I would say probably are the catalyst I guess in a way for that kind of shit like they will bring up some you know rather insecurities create that shit or or just you know what I mean like and so in a way like with a man like with a man like me to be honest like a, a, for a woman you, you you your own worst enemy you your own worst enemy. Because, you know, I ain't finna bicker with you about the minor. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you bring that shit up and you want to talk about that. Like, you know, like, like every time I say something about this, you jump out and you say some old, like, why you said that? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like a lot of times, like, women, y'all know how y'all is. Women know how they is, man. Like, you know, like, why you say that? And when you when you really get a woman alone, so a lot of times when you talk to them, you you know they'll be on some shit like, 
yeah, I know I can't work on that or I need to work on that. Like, I, this is the conversation that you need to be having. These are, these are the conversations. These are, this is the kind of shit that you need to be doing and evaluating it. And, you know what I'm saying? This is what you, where you need to be checking yourself at as a woman, if you're a female. You know what I'm saying? In these kind of areas. Like, and, uh, you know, and, and last, and I'm going I'm to I'm 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 come to a close. And last, um, but not least, uh, like I say, for, 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 like, what do you, what is the, I guess, kind of like, I think we need to revisit and just kind of evaluate, I guess, in a way like, okay, as a woman, what, what, what makes you a good woman? You know, what, you know, cause you got a lot of women out here that might say they're a good woman or they're a good girlfriend or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, what makes you that? Like, what do you know? Like, what does a man want? What does a man want? You know? Because I think women got it confused in this society to a certain extent. Like, I feel like it's a group of women and, like, you know, look, I'm not going to go into this, this minor detail shit about, oh, not all women. I don't give a fuck about that. We, I don't want to hear that shit like that. That shit to me is insult my intelligence. We know not every fucking woman on the planet, not every single man beats his woman. Not every single man does that. Or not every single woman does that. Not every single white person is racist. Like, we know that. Come on, man. Damn, like, I hate that. I really, really hate that. But anyway, um, <laughs> I had a moment, for real. But... What I'm saying is, um, when it, when it, with this, like, I, I feel like, you know, what do, what does a man want as a woman? Do you know? Do you feel like, yeah, I feel like it's certain traits and attributes that a woman brings to the table that every man wants and appreciates. And I think, uh, to name a few of those, to name a couple of those, feminism. I most definitely think every man wants a woman that can be feminine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, supportive. Like a woman that, you know, that's going to believe in this man and be supportive. These are, these are things that like, if you do this from a woman's perspective, like from, like, well, from a woman's perspective, well, you hope. You got boy, goofy ass. Anyway, like I say, like so I would say feminism, supportive, being supportive of that man and believing in that man. Um nurturing. Being a nurturer. Cause like this this is like what y'all supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what a woman I feel like should I identify, uh, signify, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like feminism. I said supporting, supportive, believing in that man, nurturing. Uh, peace, peaceful, bringing a peace, having a peace about. You know what I'm saying? Knowing how to, how to, how to will suit that man like as far as like where where he gets peace from you know letting him letting him uh having peace in the house and having and things of that nature whenever you around that man like rather y'all live together y'all don't whenever you around that man being able to be his peace like seriously like being able to be his peace to where he can let his thoughts flow and you know he can be able to if if y'all on that level he can be on that level that 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 he can't be in that place to where he can let his thoughts roam and he can plan out he's able to plan out and construct a life for you and y'all family or whatever it is that y'all trying to accomplish you know what i'm saying and like you know understanding that y'all do have the power to you know speaking life into this man like understanding that you know that 
he going to work um he going to work in the morning or whatever throughout the course of the day you can send this man to work with a smile on his face uh throughout the course of the day you checking on that man and you know what i'm saying babe everything good you know or whatever just just random little shit to like make that nigga go <laughs> girl crazy or like i appreciate that baby i i, I just just got some news that, you know, with my job, da, 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 it's kind of annoying, but that shit made it all better. You know what I'm saying? Well, when you get home today, since it's been one of those days, shit, babe, like, I just might have food prepared for you tonight. You might not do that every night. You feel me? But, uh, like, you know, I'm going to rush over there to the house. You know, I got the key or whatever. I'm going to rush over there to the house and I'm going I'm to I'm set this up for you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when he come home, you know, like like I say, you got the power to, you know, bring that man home, like, you know, happy to see you in a, in, in a sense. I believe that. I really believe that. Like, that man, after a long day of work, somebody getting off women, y'all go to work and shit like that. Y'all know how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? After a long day of work, man, getting off, getting off work. Shit, nigga walking in the house, you don't want to, you ain't take the trash out. Or like, you need to do, like, whoa, whoa, damn, let's let's try a different route. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying this shit got to be every day, all the damn time, but like, more often, more often, more often than not, I, I, I think it'll do good for a lot of, a lot of women, you know, to develop some of these traits and characteristics I really really do cause like you might you might be dealing with a man that that he ain't too much of you might feel like he ain't too much of shit or he ain't all that good of a man or whatever but it might it might challenge him to step up his game like damn like fuck like baby be doing this for me like I say like I was in a relationship like one of the best, best relationships I was in like it kind of, it was it was what it was for me. It was it, it was like she was good to me. She was so good to me. Uh, so I was. It was like when she asked for certain things, or when shit most definitely needed to get done on some shit. Like it was just like damn. Like how can I say no? Because maybe you just been so good to me, for real, for real, for real. So it was just like, if I'm a man of my word and I'm supposed to be a real ass nigga, I'm supposed to be a solid nigga. You feel me? Like I'm on some like, I, I, man, I can, I gotta come through for you because I know you'll do it for me. You feel me? I gotta be that. I gotta be the nigga. I gotta be that one. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta make it happen for you, cause so shit. It ain't, a, it ain't a question. Cause I know you love me. I know you care about me. I ain't got no doubts in none of that shit. You know, I know, I know I'm like, you know, it's a strong feeling that I'm the only one. You feel me? And I know you're going to cook for me. Maybe I got you. Say less. And I think a lot of, I, I think a lot of things can get, can get accomplished, you know, through, through that, through that go through those type things so um it's i think it's gonna be a lot more of me talking about this kind of stuff you know um but i think this is enough this will suffice for today um so with that being said i think that that kind of would be my like my last note some of my last notes and, uh, you know, like I say, you know, if women can kind of get out of the mind state of like when somebody, because I, I've been, like I say, I've been in that situation where I, I would try to give a woman constructive criticism or, you know, tell her what she may or what she can do to, you know, improve or, uh, things she can do, the things she cannot do, you know, uh, you know that she that that she can stop doing that, you know that that's like 
because because it breeds the wrong type of energy within the relationship you know what i'm saying uh like it like you know like that bad behavior i guess so to speak in a way or whatever you know what i'm saying like it promotes that 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 negative and bad behavior you know what i'm saying so i want that out of the relationship clearly so you know I would approach that and be like, yo, like, it's a better way of doing this, or could you do that, or however I would say it, you know what I'm saying, or try to go into criticizing, or try to give that, that correction, or whatever, and all that shit, I feel like it sounds bad, like, to a woman, coming from a man, like, you know, because it's just like, I don't know, it's just like, it's hard, like, I guess, I, I guess women's trust is so fucked up over the years and shit, like, it's like, it's hard for them to trust and all of that jazz, but, like I say, the woman was made to be with the man, like, if you believe in, you know, <laughs> this whole, you know, the, 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 the Bible and, you know, back in the day, like, how all this shit come up, bro, man, woman, they meant to be together, bro. A wife is what? A helpmate. I said one day on post, I was like, you know, these, they don't want to be wives no more. They want to be bad bitches. They'd rather be a bad bitch. So you got those qualities going. You know what I'm saying? You use enhance your life to be a bad bitch. Photoshop, makeup, ass, titties, bad ass attitude, funky ass attitude that ain't no nigga want. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want that shit. I don't care about that. How many times you to put on your makeup and be like, get that goofy ass shit off that face. That shit. <laughs> I mean, I like natural shit. Me, I like everything natural. I don't want no fake booty. I don't want fake boobs like that. Like, I might do some fake. It just depends on how it look low key, but I ain't a fan of that. You know what I'm saying? I, for the most part, I'm not a fan of that. Um, You know, shit, weed, wigs. Bro, let them naps fly. Let them hoes bounce. Bounce. <laughs> so, uh, like I say, man, uh, in doing that, you know, I've been pointed it like, everybody ain't perfect like you, Curtis. Bitch, I ain't, who said I was perfect? I ain't never said I was perfect. You feel me? But just like, it's like, motherfucker ain't gotta be perfect to, like, been through or under have an understanding of a situation and, like, be able to help a person in a certain area. Like, you might have a problem with, like, talking out of the mouth. You feel me? As a, as a, as a human in general. Woman, man, dog, whatever. You might have an issue with, you know talking out of, out of the mouth like just on some like I'm talking out of the mouth flip flying fast like I I, I you know I, I say shit before I think about it a lot of the time and I just jump out and say some shit damn I might regret it later I ain't perfect but that might not be my motherfucking issue you get what I'm saying I might be perfect in that. I might have never had that fucking problem in my life. Jumping out, talking out of turn and, and being rude and and loud and and disrespectful and, and things of that nature. So, truth of the matter is, bitch, nigga, I can give you a lesson on that because I don't struggle with that. I'm good when it comes to that. That ain't one of my flaws. That ain't one of my... So that's the beauty in people's relationships. And we got to be, you know, the our difference, that's the beauty in our differences and, and uniqueness in, like, us being different and individuals and, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can help. So you got to be open to that kind of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? If you're not open to it, you ain't going to be accepting of it. You ain't going to be ready to receive. And you liable to miss a blessing or something like that, you know, whatever, but, uh, 
I was going to go somewhere else, but I'm not. I'm going to stop it right there. I appreciate y'all for listening, tuning in to the podcast. Uh, it's been real. Your boy Landell, DJ Cole Red, signing out. Landell's podcast. I'll catch y'all next time. And we'll pick, we'll pick this back up on the next one, man. Hope y'all having a good new year, so forth and so on. Um, Peace out, man. Let's get some things done.